Chapter 2. The Carolingian Empire, Charlemagne and His Successors The Rise of the Carolingians, How Pippin the Short Helped Overthrow the Merovingian Dynasty The Carolingian Dynasty was one of the most significant and influential ruling families of the medieval world. They were known for their political skill, their military might, and their ability to establish a new era of political, economic, and cultural growth. The Carolingian dynasty first came into power in the 8th century AD, when Pippin the Short overthrew the Merovingian dynasty. The Merovingians were the ruling family of the Franks at the time, but they were known for their political weakness and their inability to maintain a stable and prosperous kingdom. Pippin the Short was able to take advantage of this weakness and establish a new dynasty that would go on to rule over much of Europe for centuries. Pippin was known for his military conquests, his political reforms, and his emphasis on cultural and religious diversity. Under the Carolingians, the Frankish Empire experienced a period of unprecedented growth and expansion. They were able to establish new trade routes, build impressive public works, and establish a new era of political and cultural unity. One of the most significant accomplishments of the Carolingians was their role in preserving the knowledge and traditions of the ancient world. They established new centers of learning, such as the Palace School of Charlemagne, which helped to keep the legacy of the Roman Empire alive for centuries. Despite their many accomplishments, the Carolingians were not without their challenges. They faced a number of political and economic crises, and they were often at odds with other ruling families, including the Lombards and the Saxons. Nevertheless, the Carolingians were able to establish themselves as one of the most powerful and influential ruling families in the history of Europe. Their legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Today, the story of the rise of the Carolingians is a reminder of the importance of political stability, military might, and cultural diversity. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. Charlemagne, the early years of a great ruler. Charlemagne was one of the most significant and influential rulers of the medieval world. He was known for his military conquests, his religious reforms, and his emphasis on education and culture. Charlemagne was born in 742 AD in what is now Belgium, and his early years set the stage for his future accomplishments. Charlemagne's father was Pepin the Short, who was the king of the Franks at the time. Pepin was known for his political skill and his military might, and he laid the groundwork for the Carolingian dynasty to come. Charlemagne's mother was Bertrada of Laon, who was known for her intelligence and her political savvy. From an early age, Charlemagne was trained in the art of war and the skills of rulership. He was educated by the finest tutors of the time, and he was known for his exceptional intelligence and his ability to speak several languages. When Charlemagne was still a young man, his father died and he was forced to assume the throne. Despite his youth, Charlemagne was able to maintain the stability and prosperity of the Frankish Empire, and he embarked on a series of military conquests that would establish him as one of the most powerful rulers in the world. One of Charlemagne's most significant accomplishments during his early years was his campaign to conquer the Lombard kingdom in what is now Italy. He was able to establish a new kingdom in the region and establish a new era of political and cultural growth. Charlemagne's early years also set the stage for his future reforms in education, religion, and culture. He established new schools and libraries, promoted the study of the classics, and was a strong supporter of the Christian church. Despite his many accomplishments, Charlemagne was not without his challenges. He faced a number of political and economic crises, and he was often at odds with other ruling families, including the Saxons and the Avars. Nevertheless, Charlemagne's early years established him as a ruler of exceptional skill and intelligence, and they set the stage for his future accomplishments. His legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Today, the story of Charlemagne's early years is a reminder of the importance of education, culture, and political stability. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, 
and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. Charlemagne, the conquest of Lombardy and Saxony and the expansion of the Carolingian Empire. Charlemagne was one of the most significant and influential rulers of the medieval world. He was known for his military conquests, his religious reforms, and his emphasis on education and culture. One of his most significant accomplishments was the conquest of Lombardy and Saxony, which helped to expand the Carolingian Empire and establish a new era of political and cultural growth. Charlemagne's campaign to conquer Lombardy began in 773 AD, when he launched a surprise attack on the Lombard Kingdom in what is now Italy. Despite being vastly outnumbered, Charlemagne was able to secure a series of stunning victories that would help to establish a new kingdom in the region. Charlemagne's conquest of Lombardy was significant for several reasons. It helped to establish the Carolingian Empire as a dominant force in Europe, and it gave Charlemagne a significant amount of wealth and resources to fund his future conquests. It also helped to establish a new era of political and cultural growth in the region, as Charlemagne brought with him new ideas and traditions from the Frankish Empire. After the conquest of Lombardy, Charlemagne turned his attention to Saxony, which was located in what is now Germany. The Saxons were known for their fierce independence and their resistance to outside rule, but Charlemagne was determined to bring them under his control. The campaign to conquer Saxony was long and difficult, but Charlemagne was ultimately successful in establishing Frankish rule over the region. He used a combination of military might, diplomacy, and religious conversion to bring the Saxons under his control, and he established a new era of political and cultural unity in the region. Charlemagne's conquest of Lombardy and Saxony helped to establish him as one of the most powerful and influential rulers of the medieval world. It expanded the Carolingian Empire and established a new era of political and cultural growth. It also helped to establish the Frankish Empire as a dominant force in Europe, and it paved the way for future military campaigns and conquests. Today, the story of Charlemagne's conquest of Lombardy and Saxony is a reminder of the importance of military might, political savvy, and cultural diversity. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Carolingian Renaissance How Charlemagne Revolutionized Culture, Education, and Religion the Carolingian Renaissance was a period of cultural, educational, and religious growth that occurred in the Carolingian Empire under the reign of Charlemagne. It was a time of great intellectual and artistic growth, and it established the Carolingian Empire as a dominant force in Europe. One of the most significant accomplishments of the Carolingian Renaissance was its emphasis on education. Charlemagne established new schools and libraries throughout the empire, and he placed a strong emphasis on the study of the classics, including Latin and Greek. This helped to establish a new era of intellectual growth and cultural exchange in the region. The Carolingian Renaissance also had a significant impact on religion. Charlemagne was a devout Christian, and he used his influence to promote the study of the Bible and the establishment of new religious institutions throughout the empire. This helped to establish a new era of religious growth and cultural diversity in the region. The Carolingian Renaissance also had a significant impact on art and architecture. Charlemagne promoted the creation of new works of art and the construction of new public works, including churches, palaces, and other public buildings. This helped to establish a new era of artistic and architectural growth in the region, and it established the Carolingian Empire as a center of cultural innovation and creativity. One of the most significant accomplishments of the Carolingian Renaissance was its impact on the development of the written word. Charlemagne was a strong supporter of literacy and the written word, and he established new centers of learning and scholarship that helped to preserve the legacy of the ancient world. This helped to establish a new era of intellectual growth and cultural exchange in the region, and it established the Carolingian Empire as a center of literary innovation and creativity. Despite its many accomplishments, the Carolingian Renaissance was not without its challenges. It faced a number of political and economic crises, 
and it was often at odds with other ruling families, including the Lombards and the Saxons. Nevertheless, the Carolingian Renaissance established the Carolingian Empire as a dominant force in Europe and paved the way for future cultural and artistic growth. Its legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Louis the Pious and the Divisio Imperi, how a ruler's legacy was tarnished by political instability. Louis the Pious was the son of Charlemagne, and he was one of the most significant rulers of the Carolingian Empire. He was known for his political skill, his religious piety, and his dedication to education and culture. However, his legacy was tarnished by the political instability that followed his reign, particularly his failed attempt to divide the empire among his sons, known as the Divisio Imperi. The Divisio Imperi was a plan that Louis the Pious had created in an attempt to divide the Carolingian Empire among his three sons. The plan was designed to prevent the type of succession crisis that had plagued the empire in the past, but it ultimately proved to be a failure. Louis's sons soon turned against each other, and a long period of instability and conflict followed. The division of the empire was complicated by a number of factors, including the fact that Louis had four sons, but only three kingdoms to divide. This led to a number of disputes and rivalries, and it ultimately led to the fragmentation of the Carolingian Empire. Despite the political instability that followed Louis's reign, his legacy remained significant. He was known for his dedication to education and culture, and he continued the Carolingian Renaissance that his father had established. He also promoted religious piety and the study of the Bible, and he established new religious institutions throughout the empire. Louis's reign was also significant for its impact on the development of feudalism. Feudalism was a system of social organization that was based on the exchange of land for military service and it would come to define the political and economic organization of the medieval world. Louis's reign saw the development of the first feudal relationships, which would go on to shape the political and economic landscape of Europe for centuries to come. Despite the political instability that followed Louis's reign, his legacy remained significant. He was a ruler of exceptional skill and intelligence, and his dedication to education, culture, and religion helped to establish the Carolingian Empire as a center of intellectual and artistic growth. Today, the story of Louis the Pious and the Divisio Imperi is a reminder of the challenges of political instability and the importance of strong leadership. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Vikings, Raiders and Conquerors Who Shaped Europe's History the Vikings were a seafaring people from Scandinavia who emerged as one of the most formidable forces in medieval Europe. They were known for their ferocity, their skill in battle, and their ability to navigate the treacherous waters of the North Atlantic. They were also known for their cultural and artistic achievements, which helped to shape the cultural landscape of Europe. The Vikings first emerged as raiders in the late 8th century, when they began launching attacks on the coasts of Europe. They targeted a wide range of settlements, from small villages to large cities, and they were known for their ruthless tactics, including the use of surprise attacks and the taking of hostages. The Viking raids had a significant impact on the political and economic landscape of Europe. They helped to weaken the power of the Carolingian Empire and the Byzantine Empire, and they helped to establish a new era of political and economic instability in the region. They also helped to establish the Vikings as one of the most feared and respected forces in Europe. However, the Vikings were not just raiders. They were also skilled traders and navigators, and they established a network of trade routes that spanned the North Atlantic. They traded in a wide range of goods, including furs, amber, and slaves, and they established trading posts and settlements throughout the region. The Vikings also had a significant impact on the cultural and artistic landscape of Europe. They were known for their distinctive style of art, which was characterized by intricate knotwork, animal forms, and bold colors. They also had a rich tradition of storytelling, and they produced some of the most important works of literature in the medieval world. 
Despite their reputation as raiders and conquerors, the Vikings had a complex and nuanced culture that helped to shape the history of Europe. They were a people of great courage and creativity, and they established a legacy that is still felt today in the many cultures and traditions that are descended from their legacy. Today, the story of the Vikings is a reminder of the importance of cultural exchange and the role of the sea in shaping the history of the world. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Treaty of Verdun and the Division of the Empire How Political Division Redefined the Course of European History The Treaty of Verdun was a pivotal moment in European history. It marked the end of the Carolingian Empire, which had been established by Charlemagne, and the beginning of a new era of political and economic instability. The treaty divided the empire among three of Charlemagne's grandsons, and it established the foundation for the modern European state system. The division of the empire was the result of a long period of political instability and conflict. Charlemagne had created a vast empire that spanned much of Europe, but he had struggled to establish a stable succession plan. This had led to a number of succession crises and periods of political instability. The Treaty of Verdun was designed to prevent another succession crisis by dividing the empire among Charlemagne's grandsons. The treaty divided the empire into three parts, West Francia, Middle Francia, and East Francia. West Francia became the foundation of modern France, Middle Francia was a buffer zone between the two, and East Francia would eventually become Germany. The treaty had a significant impact on the political and economic landscape of Europe. It helped to establish the foundation for the modern state system, and it helped to create a sense of national identity and cultural distinction among the various regions of Europe. It also helped to establish the groundwork for the development of feudalism, which would go on to shape the political and economic landscape of Europe for centuries to come. Despite its significance, the Treaty of Verdun was not without its challenges. The division of the empire was complicated by a number of factors, including the fact that the empire was not divided evenly among the three grandsons. This led to a number of disputes and rivalries, and it ultimately led to the fragmentation of the Carolingian Empire. However, the Treaty of Verdun remains a significant moment in European history. It marked the end of one era and the beginning of another, and it helped to establish the groundwork for the modern state system. Its legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Today, the story of the Treaty of Verdun is a reminder of the importance of political stability and the role of strong leadership in shaping the course of history. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Reign of Charles the Bald How Civil War and Political Instability Led to the Rise of Feudalism Charles the Bald was a significant figure in the history of medieval Europe. He was the grandson of Charlemagne and a member of the Carolingian dynasty, which had established a vast empire that spanned much of Europe. However, his reign was marked by civil war and political instability, which helped to pave the way for the rise of feudalism. Charles's reign was marked by a number of challenges, including the fact that he was competing for power with his brothers and other members of the Carolingian dynasty. This led to a long period of political instability and conflict, and it ultimately led to the fragmentation of the empire. One of the most significant developments during Charles's reign was the rise of feudalism. Feudalism was a system of social organization that was based on the exchange of land for military service. It emerged as a response to the political instability and the breakdown of central authority that had characterized Charles's reign. Feudalism helped to establish a new social and economic order in Europe. It created a system of vassalage and feudal obligations that defined the relationship between lords and vassals, and it helped to establish the groundwork for the development of modern states and national identities. Despite the challenges of his reign, Charles was known for his support of the arts and culture. He continued the Carolingian Renaissance that had been established by his grandfather, 
and he promoted the study of classical literature and the arts. The legacy of Charles the Bald is a complex one. He was a ruler who faced many challenges, but he also helped to establish the groundwork for the development of modern Europe. His reign was a time of political instability and conflict, but it was also a time of creativity and innovation. The rise of feudalism during his reign was a significant moment in European history, and it continues to shape the political and economic landscape of the modern world. Today, the story of Charles the Bald is a reminder of the importance of political stability and the role of strong leadership in shaping the course of history. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Collapse of the Carolingian Empire How Invasion and Fragmentation Led to the End of an Era The Carolingian Empire was one of the most significant political entities in the history of medieval Europe. Established by Charlemagne in the 8th century, it had been a powerful force for over 200 years. However, in the late 9th and early 10th centuries, the empire began to collapse due to invasion and fragmentation. The collapse of the Carolingian Empire was the result of a number of factors, including political instability, economic challenges, and external threats. One of the most significant external threats came from the Vikings, who launched a series of devastating attacks on the empire's coastal regions. These attacks had a significant impact on the political and economic landscape of the empire. They weakened the power of the central government, and they helped to establish a new era of political and economic instability. The attacks also contributed to the fragmentation of the empire, as local lords and rulers began to establish their own independent territories. The fragmentation of the Carolingian Empire was a significant moment in European history. It marked the end of one era and the beginning of another, and it helped to establish the groundwork for the development of modern Europe. The period of fragmentation also contributed to the rise of feudalism, which became the dominant political and economic system in Europe for centuries to come. Despite its collapse, the Carolingian Empire had a significant impact on the political and cultural landscape of Europe. It had established a powerful centralized government and had helped to spread literacy and learning throughout the region. Its legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Today, the story of the collapse of the Carolingian Empire is a reminder of the importance of political stability and the role of strong leadership in shaping the course of history. It is a testament to the resilience and creativity of the human spirit, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world. The Legacy of the Carolingians, How Feudalism, the Church, and European Identity Shaped the Modern World The Carolingian Empire may have collapsed, but its legacy lived on. The empire had a profound impact on the political, economic, and cultural landscape of Europe, and it helped to shape the course of world history. Its legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. One of the most significant legacies of the Carolingians was the development of feudalism. Feudalism was a system of social and economic organization that was based on the exchange of land for military service. It emerged as a response to the political instability and the breakdown of central authority that had characterized the Carolingian period. Feudalism helped to establish a new social and economic order in Europe, and it helped to establish the groundwork for the development of modern states and national identities. Another significant legacy of the Carolingians was the role of the church in European society. Charlemagne had been a devout Christian, and he had helped to establish the Catholic Church as a powerful force in European politics and culture. The church played a significant role in the development of European identity, and it helped to spread literacy and learning throughout the region. The Carolingian Renaissance had a significant impact on European culture and education. It helped to revive the study of classical literature and the arts, and it helped to establish a new era of learning and creativity. The Carolingian Empire 
also helped to establish the foundation for the development of modern universities and centers of learning. Despite its collapse, the Carolingian Empire had a lasting impact on the political, economic, and cultural landscape of Europe. Its legacy can still be seen today in the many languages, cultures, and traditions that are descended from the Carolingian Empire. Its influence can be seen in the modern political and economic systems of Europe, as well as in the development of modern education and culture. Today, the story of the Carolingian Empire is a reminder of the importance of political stability, the role of religion in shaping society, and the resilience of the human spirit. It is a testament to the power of culture, learning, and creativity, and it continues to inspire and fascinate people around the world.